primitive objects and curves are often the basis for creating models in Maya. Polygon meshes are 3D objects that are made of faces with edges that are connected at vertices. NURBs are 3D objects made of smooth curves with control vertices that define how the surface is interpolated between the curves. Curves in Maya are NURBs curves, which have control vertices and edit points. The easiest way to create a primitive is to click an icon on a shelf such as the pipe icon on the polygons shelf. Doing this creates the primitive at the scene's origin using the default values. You can do the same thing with NURBS primitives on the curves and surfaces shelf. Since there are only two primitive curves, you usually end up drawing your own. To draw a NURBS curve, click any of these icons or choose from the Create Curve Tools menu to draw the curve in different ways. We'll click the EP Curve icon, which draws the edit points where the curve passes through. Start clicking in a view, such as the top view here, to draw edit points on the curve, and press Enter to finish. If you want to make a custom size primitive object, turn on Interactive Creation in the Create Primitives menu, and draw the primitive in the scene wherever you want it, and to whatever size you like. You can also press Shift while dragging to grow the object from its base, which keeps it on the grid. Let's go back to the default mode with no interactive drawing. Another way to create a custom primitive is to open the Creative Primitives menu for either NURBS or Polygons, choose the object you want, and then click the Options box beside it. Here you can set the default values that are used when you create a primitive, such as the radius and height, and whether to round the top and bottom edges. The next time you click the pipe icon, it will use these values. To go back to the default values, choose Edit Reset Settings, as you do for all option boxes in Maya. Once you have created a primitive object, you can see its attributes in the Attribute Editor. Click this icon or press Ctrl plus A to open it. Attributes are like traits or properties that an object has. You can modify the object's attributes on this tab, such as by changing the number of subdivisions and toggling the round cap option. Create UVs is on, which means that the primitive has a default set of UVs that you can use for editing textures that you apply later. To change these attributes in another way, press the T key to open the InView editor. This is available only for polygon objects. Select an attribute, then middle drag in the view to change these values. Click the corner to open a menu and choose which attributes you want to show in the InView editor. When you're done editing, select another tool. The attributes on this tab and in the InView Editor are the creation attributes, the same that you saw in the Options box when we created the primitive. Now you can start modeling with this polygon primitive in any way you want. You can use any of the sculpting tools on the shelf, use the commands in the Edit Mesh, Mesh, and Mesh Tools menus, or open the Modeling Toolkit, where you'll find many tools for polygon modeling. Click a component icon, such as Faces, and select some components. Here we press the Shift key while double-clicking to select a face loop. To switch back to Object Mode, Right-click the object and choose Object Mode. 
or click the object icon in the toolkit, or press F8.